Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Special guest in the building this morning. A very brave soul. Tiger. Tiger's <laughs> right. Now, I didn't yeah. realize how much I wanted to talk to Tiger until I got the email nah. like Tiger wants nah, to come on yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah, because yesterday I, um, I was like, you know, I go on my Twitter and I, I was seeing like a bunch of stuff like Amarose was saying and just, just random stuff. And I feel like I'm not the type of person to really like talk about my personal life because that's just not who I, who I am. You know what I'm saying? I just be moving. I do my own thing. But I feel like I'm going to be up here. I wanted to come talk to y'all because I feel like everybody, they want to hear what people got to say. But you because yeah. like, you on tour, the Between the Sheets tour. Yeah, we, tonight we at the um, Barclay Center in Brooklyn. So. Mm-hmm. With Chris Brown and Trey Song. Mm-hmm. The show been dope. We just I just got off the bus right now, 10-hour bus drive from Detroit. I was like, they was like, they was like you're not going to make it at 9 o'clock. I was like, yo, please ask him. Let me know if I can come at 10 because right. I want to make sure I make it up there. So. And so you have the album with, with Chris Brown out right now that people are actually... It comes really... out, it comes out, Uh, oh yeah, February 24th. Yeah, mm-hmm. people are saying it absolutely, that's really good. It's, it's it's dope, you know, I feel like... The singles we heard so far have been good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think AO is doing real good. I think you guys have been supporting that, so... So where do we start, man? Do we you start with Drake blogs. calling you the little, little No, homie? let's start with Amber Rose because that's what made him want to come up yeah. here, okay? It Amber... all kind of ties in, okay. Yeah, Amber Rose said that you... That Kylie Jenner's yeah. a baby and you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. Now, are, now, are you yeah. smashing or now? Are you red shirting yeah. until she turned 18? <laughs> no, I'm not dating Kylie. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not dating that, so I just want to get that out the way. And um, I want to be clear to everybody that I didn't leave my family um, to be with Kylie. You know what I mean? And um, that's ridiculous. You know, for, I feel like, you know, me and China, we broke up almost close to a year now. You know what I mean? And because of the decisions we made and, you know, things in our relationship that wasn't going right, you know, so we decided to split to raise um, a emotionally stable kid. You know what I'm saying? That's what we did. Now we have a great relationship. You know what I mean? So I just want to be clear about that. Like, I didn't leave nobody to be with anybody. You know what I'm saying? It just saying? wasn't working. Yeah, it just wasn't working. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that you feel like when you have a kid, like, and, and that early, you know what I'm saying? You just... You don't want to raise a mostly unstable kid, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And because they pick up on everything. And now we have a great relationship. You know, he spends as much time as he can with his mom. He spends as much time as he can with me. Mm-hmm. So it's it's cool now. You know what I mean? It ain't no pressure. You feel me? But, but I'm you know, sure you, that you, she you, feels a way about the whole situation with Kylie, like because it's all well, over the well, internet. Well, yeah, because um, you know, it's because what people make it seem. You know what I mean? And like TMZ, like you got to think now, like. TMZ didn't really like care about me until like they figured out that I live next door to Kim and Kai and, and all that stuff, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But I've been friends with them um, before I even met China, you know what I mean? I was friends with Scott and her family for years, you know? Mm-hmm. So me hanging out with them, it wasn't nothing new, you know? But now people just want to make a story of it because they like, okay, we figured out who Tiger is and we see who you're affiliated with. So we want to start a, it's crazy, like this that they make up is like the craziest thing. Because they make you look crazy. They you floor, you, you floor the, the like, Europe or somewhere so where it was legal yeah. to smash her. <laughs> yeah, people are crazy, bro. Like, I mean, you know, like, I've been knowing her and her family for a long time. But you, you guys, do, like you guys do spend a lot of time together, so no, you can we, understand what I'm saying is, you know, I, you why know, people like, think that. Because, you know, and, and black culture is different. You know, if you hang around somebody, you smashing them. But, like, um, you know, white people, white culture is different. You know what I mean? Like, they, they really um, are friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, gotcha. they'd, like, really, yo, this is my friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's genuine. It's, it's different. You know what I mean? Like, how we think is a little different with our mentality, you know? So, for me, if they, if I'm like, I'm friends with her and I'm friends with her sister, they hoes. Or we or we smashing them. Like, and it's like, we really friends. Like, I, I respect her mom. I know her whole family. You never thought about suing TMZ? Because it's if, if it's not true, huh? it could hurt your career the way they got you looking. I mean, yeah, but I feel like, you know, that's when you decide, you know, you want to get on that screen, that's, the, that's what you, you know, that's what you deal with. And, mm-hmm. You know, people sometimes, you know, people could turn it on and off. You know, we live in a TV. You guys live in a radio. People could turn it on and off and go on with their regular life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they really don't care what goes on in our life. You know, they're going to they're gonna watch this. And they're going to watch Big Sean. And they're going to see Wiz. They're going to see Chris. Like, they don't really care. You know what I'm saying? It's just entertainment. Mm-hmm. But I feel like once you um, vow to do that and, you know, be an entertainer and, and be famous, that's what you deal with. So but y'all, dr- y'all dressed like smashing. on Halloween, though. Yeah, I was cool. You was Chucky. She was the bride of Chucky. I thought it was. I thought it was cool. We was going to um, we was going to J Lo's Halloween party. So I don't want to be the only in there without a Halloween costume or not. Like you know, so yeah, you know. But I mean, what does that mean though? You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm out here holding hands with her and kissing. Like 
I'm not doing anything disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? I'm raising my son. I see my son every day. You know what I'm saying? He's with me every day if, you know, if he's not with China or if we're not spending time together or whatever, you know? So people are just crazy. Would it man. upset you if, if China was um with some another guy and taking pictures and selfies and he was with the baby? Would that upset you? Well, first of all, Kylie's, Kylie doesn't do that. And, and there was a picture with King, but that was like, a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. and China was at the house when she came over there and visited King. Well, not that I'm just asking, would that upset you in general? What do you mean? Well, she 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 wouldn't do that. She wouldn't take a picture with. She wouldn't let nobody take a picture with my son, and I wouldn't put him in that situation. Mm -hmm. But if she was dating somebody else, and you know, it, it's on her to dictate her life. Just as it's on me to dictate my life. And if I decide in the future that I want to be with Kylie, or if I decide in the future that. You know, I want to be with her again or be with somebody else. Like, I'm going to dictate my life. And just as she's going to dictate her life, you know, like. Do you feel like you guys might get back together? Is there I mean, we have for a, that? We have a great relationship right now, you know, and I think it's it's we're, we're on really good terms. Just so working know? better. And it's good because she's she's comfortable. She's out, you know, making her own money. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just it's just cool now. You know what I mean? It's like no pressure on each other. So, you know. So, okay, so and, and listen, Kylie's not a bad red shirt prospect at all. <laughs> she's the thing about her, man. You know, it's like she's just a she's a good person. You know what I mean? Like you ever meet somebody and you feel like their energy is just good. You know what I mean? It's like it's like not negative. It's like no, you know, it's not talking. You know, it's like we're not talking about like you know what's on media takeout today and like what's negative and stuff. You're like you know, it's just she's just a good person. She just comes from a good upbringing. It's, and it's and I ne I never met somebody like that. Or her and her family. You know how they deal with all the bull they deal with. You know, it's just she's cool. She's used to it. Have you have yeah. you been contacted by like any law enforcement? Because that it, if if people believe the blogs, it could be incriminating. Yeah, they said she had a room in uh, in your house. <laughs> so they do they be like, yo, <laughs> Damn, do people check just to make sure, like, yo, <laughs> look for the nah, nah. is everything appropriate with this situation? Nah, I don't think that. Nah, ain't nobody doing that. I mean, that's just crazy though. Like, and the whole family still likes you. Her family is because yeah. there were also reports that you know Kim feels a little weird about it. And I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it was like weird to see us hanging out i mean because you know like but I, it wasn't weird to nobody in her family really you know what i'm saying because it's like i always come to the crib like even if i was with china or king i i and, you know and um king you know he'll play with north you know the nannies they'll link up and they'll go to the park together and stuff like that so it was never like a weird situation when i was hanging out with Kylie. when they find out when they found out that i wasn't with china they was just like oh what happened like you know because mm -hmm. i you know i linked china and kim together you know right. i i introduced them you know what i mean so it's not like, you know, they were just best friends and I like, she betrayed her and things like that. It's like nothing like that. You know? That's different. the other thing too. I look at Tiger and I don't like to stunt nobody's pocket to see what they're going. He pocket watches. Okay, let's get in the pocket. We watches. all ahead, say man. to ourselves, yeah. how is Tiger yeah. making all hey, this money? Instagram, Instagram is 20% of what I be doing, you know, but <laughs> if you think about it, like, all right, music just is... On you, you had a just, zebra in you your just, backyard. You just stunted on yeah. you, Charlamagne, a little yeah. lightly. But I mean, I feel like, you know, that's the things you got to do to keep your imagination growing. If I stunt my imagination, I'm not going to be able to grow as a person or as an artist, you know what I mean? And if, we living in a day where people don't make money off music like that. Let's get mm -hmm. that out the way. You know what I'm saying? But so it's like you got to figure out your brand. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these, you know, it's artists that have, you know, bigger singles than me. That people may think they're bigger than me. But globally, like, my brand is bigger. You know what I mean? Like, I turned the idea, um, Last Kings, into a $20 million company. You know what I'm saying? But with me and, and my brother right here. What is that, clothes? and? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a clothing line. You know what I'm saying? We got the Storm Arrows. We're about to open one in Japan, open one in Paris. So, like, it's just not, like, it's just not rap music, you know? Rap music is what makes it cool, and that's just, like, the foundation. But, like, we got, you know, the last king. We got, like, a 20,000-square-foot factory where we actually have 50, 60 workers. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I was to stop mu doing music, if I was to let things affect me, you know, I'm letting, you know, the lives of these people that I hire, you know, be to be affected. You know what I mean? It's like they got families, and I'm providing for them, and it, and so on. My friends and family. You know what I mean? So, I feel like we got a lot of stuff though that we're doing. I got a um, I got a boxer line called Chris Boxers that we're about to launch, mm -hmm. and um, like all department stores. Um, I just did a uh, investment with uh, Sean Papers, and it's like gold rolling papers. It's like edible gold, gold cigars. So it's like it's a novelty item, but it's cool though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um. Me and uh, Kylie actually got an app that's about to come out with a partner of our name, uh, Jeremy Green, and we just linked up with Is it Fa like Tinder? <laughs> no, it's not like <laughs> Tinder. Stupid <laughs> I don't even know what Tinder is. But it's, it's like not, a dating. It's a dating No, no, app. it's not a dating site, nothing like that. I think that would be 
uh, the bad thing to do right now. Yeah, right, 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 right now. It's not a dating thing. It's, a, <laughs> it's actually like um, it's like moving emojis. It's like Instagram on crack. You know what I'm saying? But um, so we just linked up with Facebook, and we're going to launch that so people can go to pinktank.com to check that out. So the majority of your money comes from merchandising? Uh, merchandising. I got, sure. a, I got a real estate company, that investment company that I just started. So basically for people, you know, in the hood too that don't know how to, um, you know, what it takes to like buy a house or like what the steps are, you know. So I'm looking for like realtors and agents for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like I, I'm really like a businessman. Like I'm not just like a rapper. You know what I mean? Like I'm not just like going to come up here high and off lean and just like, you know what I'm saying? Just like that's just not my style. Right. People that know me know that. Like I'm, I, I always been on my A1 game. And always been about my business, you know. Well, last time you were here, you you talked about you were actually the first artist that said you didn't get paid from. Cash no, he money. wasn't the first. Well, he was the first was, one that said it on on air. No, Juvenile been saying that. Well, <laughs> BG. Did you ever get calls after that? Manny after Fresh said that and, and said that on this interview. Um. Uh, you know, through lawyers and stuff, but I mean, because after you I said that, all artists started coming out, but like we don't get paid either. Yeah, but see, when I was saying it, you know, I I was like I was looking bitter. I was broke when I was saying, it, and I was like, you know what I mean, but. I just kept it real, you know, it came, mm -hmm. it came to a point where I was like, yo, like, man, I'm gonna be turning 25 soon, and I'm like, I need to, you know, I got a kid now, like, I can't be sitting here waiting on the next man, or mm -hmm. like, you know, but, you know what I mean, like, Wayne gave me that opportunity, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, like, before Wayne, I was like, you know, I had dropped out of high school, you know what I mean, I got kicked out of my uh, mom's house when I was 15, you know, my DJ's right there, he became a DJ, he wasn't a DJ, mm -hmm. he was just like my homie, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know, I was sleeping in his Honda Civic every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I was like broke trying to figure out life. Hold know? on, while Rack City was on? No, before no, 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 this, this was, is this was, was like yeah. when I was like 15, oh, 16. Okay. Right? Rack City came out like what, four years ago? Gotcha. Or whatever. Um, and then, you know, like I you know, I was passing my mixtapes everywhere. Then mm -hmm. I passed it to uh, Travis McCoy from the Gym Class Heroes, and he got into the hands of Fallout Boy. So, you know, and that's when I, you know, I, I made a song called Coconut Juice. And I, because. I was like, I saw an opportunity, I saw a door open, so I'm gonna walk through it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They was like, this is what we want you to do. So I was like, cool, I'm with it, whatever. And through through that, I met Wayne. You know what I'm saying? And that's what like changed everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I would never like say anything bad about Wayne. You know what I'm saying? The truth is you just didn't get paid from Well, yeah, yeah because the, the business wasn't right. But Wayne you know didn't even get paid, so well it Nobody wasn't Wayne, it paid. wasn't Wayne's fault. You mm -hmm. know what I'm Because you see the situation that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, Which I don't uh, understand because when you said what you said, it's like Mac Main had something to say to you. Yeah. Nikki unfollowed you. But if they knew that this was really going on, huh. why get mad at you? Well, I mean, because sometimes, you know, people people just don't understand, like, what's really going on. And I see it way before it happens. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, like, I'll get on the emails with the lawyers and I'll really, like, try to see what's going on because I don't understand it. You know what I mean? Like, if I, if everything is good and, you know, everybody got millions and hundreds of millions of dollars, like, I need to make sure, why, why is my Remind business it. not right? Yeah. But you know was it saying? your like, contract, or were they not, they just... No, nah, I mean, them? you got to think, like, you know, like, I sold over, like, 10, 11 million singles with them. You know, Raxi did 4 million, Faded did 2 million. Then I did, quietly, like, you know, Molly, Dope, Hookah. Like, all these singles go gold, White and they don't push Molly. it. I know, but what I'm saying is, I have all these singles that go gold with no radio push, mm -hmm. no nothing. Just me putting out my own money just because of my brand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So after a while, it's like... Okay, like, why are you making $4 million off this song when I put up $50,000 of my own money for Rack right. City and I pay for the video? So I don't understand that. Like, why am I not getting that money back? So after a while, you just be like, I just don't like how the business is going. You so know why does mean? Baby not like to pay artists? Well, I don't, I don't really know who who to point the fingers at. I just think, I just think like, the business is a lot going on. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They got some of the biggest artists from, you know, Drake, Nicki, uh, Wayne, myself. Like, they got a lot of artists over there, so... You maybe know, maybe it's too much. not doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, maybe it's a lot to handle. Yeah, but it's been going on since day one. Just yeah. the juvenile yeah. hot boys. And every yeah. other label gets paid. Now, let's talk yeah. about light skin on light skin. Oh, hold on one second, though. How, have you reached out to Baby and Slim about this? I talked to Baby. And what did he say? I was supposed to be out of my deal, like, last month. That's why I was actually supposed to drop my album in January, but it didn't drop because... You waiting to get out you of ain't the out deal? That, you ain't out the deal yet. But why would they let you go? They don't... Do they have to? Is your deal up or... Oh, it's over. When y'all gonna air this? <laughs> Tiger said we're going to put some pressure on him in the street. They're going to let me go. Yeah, but I got a great album, you know, that Kanye, like, executive produced. So I didn't want to, like, waste that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want, and, I, and I wanted people to focus on the album with me and Chris that's about to come out. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to confuse people because it's two different sounds. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Do the cash money get paid off that? Yeah. Maybe. Damn. 
because the deal was already agreed, you know, so they so they get paid off of it. But I'll get paid off this album. This will probably be the first album ever that I get paid off. Of. <laughs> yeah, but that was all right. That was two years ago. You said you had never gotten a check from Cash Money. Has that changed? Have you gotten a check since? No. Damn. Damn. Not, Not even one royalty. Right. All right, but let's let's get into the Yikes. interview you did with Vibe Magazine. Tiger boxes too. He might box one of them next time he sees. Oh yeah, we saw. Okay, the uh, interview. But you that, did. I just want to get that clear though, like. I signed a, I signed over there because of Wayne, nobody mm-hmm. else. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I and I have the utmost respect for him. Mm-hmm. You know. Okay, so the interview with Vibe. Let's get into that. Yeah. Now you had said that you think that Drake is fake. Yeah. You don't like him. He's yeah. not your type of person, but you do like his music. Yeah. You said, and then Drake clearly Sounds like was. Me. A- yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an exact statement <laughs> I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly <laughs> Drake was offended by that, and he responded with the 6 p.m. in New York song on his mixtape. Called mm-hmm. you the little little homie. Right, mm-hmm. and he took a shot yeah. at you. Need you to start acting you, your girl's age. You need to start acting your age and not your yeah. girl's age. And then yeah. you went on Twitter, but you deleted that, and you said yeah. that he's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, I, said, I, don't, I don't mind that because I feel like that's the only thing you can Sometimes do. Sometimes you have a light skin moment. Yeah, but <laughs> you know what? I, like, yeah. I think y'all should square up one time if it's, if it's, if it's that serious. Because I, I feel like rap wise. <laughs> I mean, I, he, first of all, we live in the same. He knows exactly where my house is. I know exactly where his house is. Mm-hmm. We live in, in the LA. same. No, in, in Calabasas. We live next to each other. Really? Yeah. Okay. So it's awkward. my thing is just like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, if it's real, it's real. If it's not, if it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't with him as a person. You know what I mean? Because the experiences that I've had with him personally, you know what I'm saying? I'm not changing. I'm not trying to change, you know, who I'm not going against who he is as a person to the public or his music or anything like that. Like I said, his music is great and it's undeniable. You know, it's his moment. You know what I'm saying? But um, where did the beef start? Just like, your what, personal experience. It's not. It's not really just a beef. It's just personal experiences that I have with him, and you know, just like you know, phone calls and just stuff like that. And it's just, I, I feel like he's a nice guy on the outside, but he's not genuine. You know what I'm saying? And he plays people left and right. I hear that a lot. That's you know, why that's, Diddy smacked that's him. That's just yeah. Well, you know, that's just like my opinion. You know, and I'm entitled to have my own opinion. Right. And at the end of the day, when I did that interview, that's how I felt exactly at the moment. And another thing I want to clear up is, you know, um, when I did that interview. I know people were saying, like, I was calling Nikki fake, and you know, that wasn't the case, you know. I just said me and her didn't get along at that exact moment, you know. Um, me and Nikki got into it uh, about something stupid, and, you what know, but th- but that's what, like, it was over a song. But, you know, that's what brothers and sisters do. They fight, you know what I mean? So I don't have anything against Nikki, you know. I fuck with her 100%. So it was a song that you wrote she wanted, or it was hers, and you took it? Like, what was it? Nah, it was just a song, you know what I'm saying, like, that um, that uh, that Drake was on. That was all. It was actually Truffle Butter. Really? Oh. Yeah. So that was your record? Well, you know, I was on the record. And I like that song. Bumped you. I, I don't know. Like, it, it's just all, it just got it just got weird, and it, it, wasn't, it wasn't real to me. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like that was Drake's song, and I don't know. I didn't really come and talk about it too much, but, you know, I just, that's just how I feel. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I'm a man, so I'm like, whatever. You keep moving. At the end of the day, he got his own life, and he got his family to support I got my own life and my family support. You really took your lane, though, because that was your lane, that that model, truffle, but like that yeah. was your signature before I heard them yeah. do it. Do you feel yeah, like you took your, your lane on? Yeah, but me and YG, we was the first one to put that sound out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was doing that 2010 before everybody, anybody got anti dollar sign, mm-hmm. you know? So, I mean, that's what you do, though. That's music, you know what I'm saying? You feed, you 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 share information, you spread off each other's swag, and, you know, you you link up together. That's what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. And, and Drake being the number one artist in music right now, you know, um, I feel like not even just friends or just family. Like, you're supposed to, like, link up with your family and friends and stuff like that because, you know, we we in the, we all in this to open doors and provide opportunities for our family. You know what I'm saying? It's like building a house. He may know how to build a better and faster house than us right now, right? Mm-hmm. But um, you know, you, that don't mean you shit on your coworkers because your coworkers is working just as hard to build that same house with you. You know what I mean? And um, you know, if, it's like if you don't link up and spread that information, and you guys don't uh, trade that information, you know, you are gonna end up building a lot more houses by yourself. But I thought he put you in, in the model video, right? He put you in the model joint. But at first, it was just him, and then he put you on there. I don't know, bro. Now I'm not I'm not a fan of Aubrey at all. But I think I just if it was just straight rap, I don't think you could compete with him. I think definitely, uh, I think, you know, he's more clever and more wittier, but I got I, I got bars as well. I get in the studio and I make music too. That's what we all do. Are you going to give you know it a saying? shot? Like maybe a little? I'm not in it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a mistake that, you know, 
back when like 50 and Ja Rule did, you know what I'm saying? Like they made that situation about, they made their career almost, well not 50 as much, but you know, they made it based off like dissing each other. And I, that's not, that's not what I, that's not what I started when I was 17 to do when I signed a Wayne, like to be a diss artist, to be like, so it's like, why put all that energy into one thing? You know what I mean? When it's like, he's not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. None of these artists going nowhere. We going to keep running to each other and keep seeing each other. You know what I'm saying? So I I'm not. I felt like your relationship with Chris Brown probably has something to do with it too, because you and Chris Brown are so tight. And I was thinking maybe perhaps Chris just like you me did though. say Brown. Chris, but Chris is like you ducking the fade from Brown. I'm ducking the it. fade from Brown. You did mention I mean, that. Yeah, Chris is like you know he's just like me though. We 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 think alike. You know what I'm saying? Just and at the end of the day, you you gotta think like Chris went through a point to where like you know to the point to where he didn't even want to do music anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because people was bashing him so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the situation he went through. And I, I didn't judge him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still looked at him like, yo, you Chris Brown, you you Mike Jack. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta make music. You know what I'm saying? But he he wasn't, like, really motivated to do that. I flew out to Virginia. I stayed at his crib for, like, two months. And we recorded a whole mixtape. That's when we recorded Deuces, all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was with him at that point to where, like, people wasn't, like, really f***ing with him like that. You know what I mean? But I was just like, who cares what people think? You, you got the gift. Like, a lot of us... In this generation, a lot of people that never gonna have. You see, you, you know, know the mean? problem with the game. Like it's like like they'll see you make a comment in vibe. Yeah, but they don't know where that comes from. All yeah. they see is the surface. They don't know yeah. the interactions y'all yeah. might have had in the you know, studio. I think or... it's like because you need to either be black or white. And sometimes, like, if I go full fledged, then it's full fledged. But I don't want to do that because it's a it's about strategy. You know what I'm saying? Like. This shit is a chess game, so you, you can't just do stuff like that. And then after that, Drake was playing dirty. He went and liked all of Black China's pictures Ooh, on Instagram. Yeah, but, all I mean, of what that. What does that mean, though? Like, I mean, right. that's like, okay, like you know, if he, if he had a girl, that's like that. That has nothing to do with me, though. Like, that's just like, be, I'm trying to be funny, but that's like. And then he posted pictures of him and Kylie hanging out somewhere in the cut, but it was like was an old there. picture. Yeah. And yeah. Like from like a old. It was like it was from an old video. Yeah, but. It's just funny. That's just, and that's what I'm saying. That's the type of person. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just funny to me. But I don't really care. Just say like, it, Tiger. He's a bitch ass. It's <laughs> okay. Just let it out. <laughs> no, I said what I said. Like I don't, I don't fuck with him as a person. You know what I mean? And that's just, that's just that. Now Ray J tweeted once. Uh, he said, um, "F Tyrese and Tiger." <laughs> yeah. What was <laughs> yeah. that about? <laughs> What'd you man, do to Ray, Ray J? J? I don't know, man. <laughs> I really don't. Tyrese he said he didn't know, know either. Whack, whack, whack is one of his big homies, and he, he he's a blood from L.A. <laughs> I know whack. Yeah, he put whack in the tweet. Hashtag whack one. I call whack. I'm like whack. What is, what the f like? What is this? You know what I'm saying he's like I don't know what Ray. He high on Molly. He said he was on Molly and he was just that's Ray J man. I ain't. I don't. I don't have no, it's you funny because that. That, that same nah. day I actually hit Ray. I'm like, what's up with that? He was like, I don't know. Exact same thing. He was like, I don't know. Yeah, man, it's all good, man. Now, yeah. if you see Drake or any, uh, would mm -hmm. you box him? Would you, would you fight him for a fair one? I don't know. I don't know what type of relationship. I don't know what type of... It depends on the environment and what we... You know what I'm saying? If it's like, yo, if it's really... We need to sit down and have a conversation on some real shit because I'm not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep running into you. You know what I'm saying? Or is it like... I mean, like, I, I really don't know. Like, it depends on... He got security, I got security. But it's like, you going to let... Are we going to talk? You know what I'm saying? How mm -hmm. you and Diddy just talk? But they didn't talk. Diddy didn't talk. Diddy smacked him. Oh. <laughs> Y'all should just have one good waffle colored war one time. Just go at it, see what happens. I mean, I'm with it. I oh, box. No, that <laughs> so video, that video of uh, Drake running into the club, yeah. and everybody said you was in there. You oh, beat up his DJ. Was I, that was, uh, that was I was uh, overseas. I was out the country, and I seen it on world. So I'm like, but that's just people making stuff up because they want it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's like, as an artist, you got to sit back and know that people are gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? So right. you need to like have that conversation within each other. You know what I'm saying? I haven't had a, had a, last conversation I had was on with him was on the phone and we was like cussing each other out. Really? So that was the last conversation I had with him. After the vibe thing? No, nah, it was before the vibe thing. What were yeah. you cussing each other out for? Over the Trouble Butter record? Like, why you took me off yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. And well, then he should understand why you don't really, you know. I don't know. It's just, it's just, I, is it wrong just to just care. not really mess with somebody? Like, I don't yeah, see there's nothing nah. wrong with it. It's no. healthy. Yeah, there really is yeah. nothing wrong with that. Nah, like, it's just my opinion. Right. And whose you know decision was it to take you off Truffle Butter? His? You said what? Whose decision was it to take you off Truffle Butter? I don't know. I had the record. Nikki had the record. Everybody had the nothing record. Nothing for nothing. You sounded great on that record. Yeah. My <laughs> first was his, his lane. I, like, I mean, I appreciated it because I like to see the honesty. Because 
nowadays you hear so much things behind the scenes like, oh, this guy's like that, this guy's yeah. like this. But so why do y'all continue to be fake with each other and shake hands and take pictures? Yeah, right. That's why I'm just at the point to where it's like I'm just gonna fuck with who I fuck with and that's it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Got the tour going. Now, on. now have that's... you uh, have you decided to sue Empire for copyright infringement? Because that they, they, Hakeem is based off of you. <laughs> <laughs> what's funny? What's funny is I was supposed to be on the fifth episode. Really? Yeah, uh, I think I'm. A, probably do something on the second season, but I was supposed to be on the fifth episode. But, um, yeah, they actually wanted me to be on the show. As a but, regular? Yeah, but um, they wanted artists that wasn't that wasn't unsigned so they can, like, own the music. And uh-huh, that that's stuff. exactly yeah, what that was, a, that was a problem of me being signed and all that. What role were you going to play? Uh, the role I, I was supposed to play, um, I think, the, the, the rapper that was, uh, that he was, like, Muslim. And they went to go talk oh, to yeah, him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I was I supposed to play him, yeah, yeah. the dude that they wanted to sign. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't do it last minute. I had a show or something, mm-hmm. so I wish I would have did now. But yeah, the show was big, I probably, yeah. probably did. I think it's a good show. I think it's dope it because it's like, you know, people could see, like, we're, it's, it's music related, so people would like to see that. You it's know? fun right. to watch. Yeah, it's cool to watch. So when you hear interviews like Amber, and Amber comes up here and says, you're disgusting and yeah. foul, do yeah. you reach out to her? Or no. Do you call your baby mom and say, you'll talk to your girl? No. What's up with that? Nah, because I'm not doing things to, to to get hits. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, I, my son, you know, I, I drop my son off at her house to play with her son. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's like... You know, I, and I respect Wiz, you feel me? So, like, I would never come up here and disrespect a female or someone's baby mama because I would never do. I would never want nobody to do that to me, you know? So it's all love, you know? Shout out to Amber. Has she ever said that to you, like, personally, yeah. on the phone, nothing? No, nah, every time I see her, it's always cool, you know, but... You helped Black China. Um, you really wanted her to be, like, a business person, and you gave her the money to start her own. I think she had, like, a... Um, was it a nail? Was uh, it she a... got a lash, uh, like yeah. a salon. A lash salon. Yeah. Now, do you not want to see her like in the club hosting parties? Are you feeling like, oh, you know, you shouldn't have to do that. We have a kid together. I'd rather you just do businesses. How do you feel about that? <coughs> nah, it, I mean, it's it's free money. Mm-hmm. If somebody want to pay you like 10 grand to come and sit in the club and act like you're enjoying it for like 20, 30 minutes, then <laughs> act more like power to you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's money. I'm, I would never tell her like, don't go out and get money. Just, you know, just be strategic how you move. Can you know she still come to you if she wants to start a business and say, hey, you know, help me out? I yeah, know. of course. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're we going to, you know, we're going to, um, you know, we're going to be involved in each other's life for, you know, for the next, what, 18, whatever t- years. You know what I mean? We got a child together. So, you know, it's just about just keeping good energy. You know what I mean? So. Are you bringing your son on the road on any dates? Mm, you like, no, he's too young. He gonna be okay. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to be in L.A. in like two weeks, though, so. Okay. Now listen, I want to clear this all the way up with the Kylie thing, right? If you, were, if Kylie <laughs> was your daughter, yeah, how would you feel about her being around a twenty-five-year-old rapper? Well, I, first, for one, I don't have a, a I, I don't have a daughter, right? And I, I couldn't put myself. I can't really answer that question because I don't know. Because it's it's not this. I'm not in that situation. I don't I don't really know, you know. But I know her and her family. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like no like. Hey, you just hanging out with Ty. He's a rapper. He about to have you on drugs. And her family know me. Like I, they know how I am. You know what I'm saying? They know where I live. I know where they live. It's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's we all friends. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't think it's. I think it's just the world. I think what it, what it was is the world thought I left um, China and my family to be with Kylie. And I think that's the main problem that everybody has. Not for the fact of maybe the age that she is, because you know if decided. You know, if I wanted to date her right now in New York, you know, the age of consent in New York is what? I don't know. I think you it's Google 18. It? I think it's 18. 17? I think 18. <laughs> I think it's 18. Google, Google it. Let me Google What's the age of consent in New York? Hold We're on. just saying if I wanted to. Hold on. Let's, be, let's get this. Get it factual. Yeah. Let me see. Age yeah. of consent <laughs> in NY. She's on your computer already. I'm 17. Sure. 17. 17. 17. Oh, it is 17. Okay. So there you go. Yeah. If I wanted to. But... You know, <laughs> no, it's seventeen. I'm looking at the statutory <laughs> rape laws. It's seventeen. It's actually. But you do. Do you find her attractive? I think she's a beautiful young woman, and I think she's, uh, you know, maturity and mentality is 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 different than a lot of people. You know what I mean? And I, I'm not just, ha- you know, I hang out with her and her sister. You know what I'm saying? Like we we got a group of friends. Which and one? We all hang out. Kendall. Kendall. Kendall okay. Chloe, it, it also Chloe looks crazy too. too because Black China used to be with Kim all the time. But I used to be with them too. He introduced Black China to Kim. So yeah, I guess but it's just right. like, 
like it's just what what the photo what they were looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like they wasn't looking for me. It's just the press looks makes you look crazy. It's it just made, TMZ, it made me, bro. It made me feel a way too when I first. And you like, damn, Tiger just did all doing all this when it's like, yo, I literally like am at the house chilling with my son. You know what I'm saying? Then I go to like. If she hit me like, yo, you want to come eat with me and my friends or whatever. And then I'm like, all right, well, I ain't doing nothing. And then it's like, bam, and I'm getting caught out. And they put this crazy story like Kylie just gets into fight with Kim and leaves the house with Tiger. And it's like they yeah, put this Kim crazy you, shit out. Kim hates Tiger like, now. She hates the relationship. Should we you know be surprised if in the future you guys start dating? Or is that something that you look at as a possibility? I mean, I just think we just friends, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm, I'm single, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm not dating anyone, so like. I got a great relationship with my baby moms. I got a good relationship with her and her family. And, you know, whoever else I decide to bring in my life, you know, I'm a, I'm going to continue to dictate that and not let dictate TMZ it. dictate. Up, TMZ's going to run with that. Dictate. <laughs> 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 said he dictates. I said dictate. Kylie. Yeah. No, 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 I'm saying, you know, but like, you know, I'm going to just be able to, I'm going to just keep controlling my life, not like TMZ and like the kids on You're Twitter. You're not going to worry about like what that. everybody The crazy thing is 10 years from now, it would be like Diddy and Cassie. If y'all was together, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It just looks crazy now because she's. Mm. Oh, it, it's just the people. It's what they're just making things out to be, and it's not even that. You know what I mean? Like, did Kim crop you out a picture? That was a rumor too that she <laughs> cropped you out a picture one time. It was all y'all together, and she cropped you out because she was mad at I you. I remember that. Remember that? <laughs> no, she was. I was all at the party. Oh, I was. That was that was French birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was at the party. Mm -hmm. So since Kanye executive produced your album, are you forced to wear those Yeezy boots? I got them. Cause once you got to deal, you got to deal with Reebok. Reebok. No, no, no. But that's up now. Nah. No, uh, Asics so, now. Nah, nah, nah. You not doing it either. Nah, nah, nah. So LA got, Gear, that's what yeah, it was. Yeah. So LA Gear, I just did. <laughs> yeah. I gonna name them all. Thank you. So, <laughs> so I just did a, a partnership with them, and then um, you know we bringing back the light ups, doing like a running shoot with them, and then we doing like all the kids light ups. You know, but people don't understand like LA Gear still quietly makes like a hundred million dollars a year. Really? And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like now that I'm involved, you know, we trying to take it to 200 million, you know, and I'm gonna be able to like really eat off that deal, you know, mm -hmm. with the Reebok deal, it was just like, it was cool. You know, I got my feet, um, you know, feet wet and I, I got to understand how to make a shoe and how to market it and all that stuff. But now like I'm able to do some, I reached out to LA Gear, like I just like set a meeting up with the president and I was just like, yo, I'm from LA. This is this is my history right here. And I really want to come in here and like redesign everything and make it dope. Cause you guys was like, Killing back in like the nineties, you know. Yeah, I remember Michael Jackson used to have his. Uh, yeah, they had. LA they had a lot of people. So, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna do kids shoes though too. I mean, so yeah. Well, we appreciate you joining us and clearing this stuff up. Yeah, I had to. Man. I didn't think you were really gonna come. Yeah, I, I didn't think you were like... gonna come. Either. I was like, you're not coming. <laughs> why? I mean, why not though? Like, I mean, it was a little, you haven't been here slander over here from the big but, black bully over there. No, yeah, it wasn't slander. The only nah. thing I ever said was, yeah. I hope Tiger's making yeah. sure Kylie's getting enough calcium. And I said he was red shirting the poom poom because she was 18. Yeah, I mean, but that's, you know, that's just that's just all fun, though. It's all entertainment, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I don't got nothing against nobody up here, you know? Like, so it's just, you know, I, I came up here, you know what I mean? Like, some other people wouldn't. No, you know, definitely not. Draco definitely. never <laughs> stepped foot in here. Yeah. But you should do a record, though, just because. Just for the love of the sport. <laughs> even though I don't think you can compete with him, and I don't even, I'm not a fan of him, just lyrically, I just think you should do it. Because you never know what could come out of you. You know what I'm saying? You might write the greatest diss record of all time. <laughs> Yeah, I got a, I got two great albums I'm sitting on right now though, from me and Chris album and then my album. So Don't I'm just trying to get people I'm up. just trying to get people to focus on that, you know? And yeah. That's what it's about. And the just tour. He called you the going. little little homie though. That's insulting. <laughs> Not even the little homie. That's, that's, little, 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 little that's him right here. He's yeah. the big black bully that's gonna try I'm to make the little, you fight. Little homie. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he called you. He said, act your age, not your girl's age. That's some that's he deserves a few balls back. Yeah, he, he hit me up on MySpace, though, before he was signed to Young Money, though. So, like, MySpace. this goes way back, you know? But I ain't going to get into detail, but it's all good. Okay. And he dropped on MySpace. But the MySpace Back in the you. day before he was signed. And now you're feeling himself. I mean, that's what, <laughs> that's what, that's what, that's what rappers do, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I've been the same way. I've, you know, I've, been, I've always been able to dress, been always able to talk to girls before I've been a rapper. You know what I'm saying? So I don't change, like, you know, from a dollar to a hundred million dollars or a million dollars. Like, I'm not going to change because this is, what's the change about it? You know, I just got more access to do things, but I'm not about to just try to shit on people and try to change. Like, I'm just this new nigga that's just like, I'm going to be myself all the time, you know? So does Chris and uh, Drake have beef still? I mean, you said you've been ducking the frown from the fade from Brown. <laughs> no, I think they squashed that, whatever it was or whatever situation they had, you know? I think, you know, Chris is focused on what he got going on. You, you know? just put that out there because you knew it would have set him. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, Tiger, we appreciate oh, you good. joining us. Yeah. And again, for stopping through here, even with the big black bully slandering you sometimes. I've not, I have yeah. not. Why do you call it slander? Like, it's not slander. It's not slander. It's just like, <sighs> he says, I you Drake. say what the people like want to say. You know, it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? But he talks about light skin so much that he's getting to your, like, shade. <laughs> like, he's over. Yeah, last time I came, he was a little darker. See, I had skin discoloration. <laughs> you're a little lighter <laughs> now. Yeah. It's not lighter. I just got darker. rid of the discoloration. Oh, oh, wait, that's crazy. You did. Hell See? Yeah. That's crazy. I, I used to have a raccoon shit right here. You look like you could be one of Tiger's cousins. You're getting, money, getting a little money bit of money. Now, see? I ain't going to change, though. You I start feel, getting money. I'd have kept, you on, truffle, I'd yeah. have kept yeah. you on truffle butter, though. I appreciate it. Man. I wouldn't have changed so much. And to, and to clear it up, what is truffle butter? It's, isn't it like a butter you put like on steak or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Sounds like it to me. Okay. <laughs> it's like, isn't it? It's something yeah. like that, right? The expensive as type of butter you order. And you and Nikki cool, right? Yeah, I wear 100%. All right. All right. Well, she follow you back. I don't know. I didn't even know she was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we ain't asking about Wayne, though. Are you and Wayne cool? Or y'all have, yeah, have, have y'all Wayne. spoke? Yeah, we, we, I spoke to Wayne, like, just like a week ago when the mixtape came. I was like, man, this is dope. You know, Wayne is Wayne, is Wayne, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can never, like, go against him or, like, say anything bad about him because he gave me that opportunity. He opened that door and let me walk through that door. So he you know wasn't tripping it, on nothing? Nah. You know what I'm saying? It was just the business. Um... Sur around surrounding him and the people that was handling the business that I didn't that I didn't like and feel comfortable with, you know, to keep my career moving forward. You know what I mean? Gotcha. But like yeah. if you if if it was just like Young Money, right, and it was just like Wayne, you know, and the business was right, you know, I, of course I want to still be signed with Young Money and still be uh, Wayne's artist. You know what I mean? If everything was right. Okay. Now, question, Young Thug. He said yeah. he wants to do call his uh, next album Carter Six. Carter Six. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Because Wayne is your bro. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think I think Young Thug, he's just in his own world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I think he a dope artist though. He brought something new to the game as far as like musically. It was different. You know what I'm saying? I remember meeting him in the studio with Kanye though before he signed to uh, before he signed to Cash Money. Mm -hmm. Kanye really keep his ear to the streets, boy. Yeah, he, he do, do. man. <laughs> he do. Jesus Christ. He do. Um, I remember hearing. I was just like, I heard that Stoner record. I was like, this is different. I linked up with him. And that's when we did the hookah, hookah. song. Mm -hmm. You know, so, but I think he's just in his own world doing, you know, shining, man. You know, doing his own thing. All right. Well, it's Tiger. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs>